Hi, this is Kazan, back with another Fun Stampers Journey project. Today it's a 3D butterfly treat box and I used all embellishments and paper from Fun Stampers Journey. I'm going to start off using my oatmeal cookie ink pad as well as Denim Days, a selection of Copic markers and the following stamp sets. Enjoy the journey as well as Little Big Greetings. For this particular project, you're going to need to stamp your image three times. We're going to color in different layers and then fussy cut them to assemble them for our project. My tip here always when working with alcohol markers is to heat set it once you've stamped it before coloring. I'm using my light blue Copic marker to color in the three butterflies. Any light blue will do. So I've colored the first two in completely and then the third one just the top half of the butterfly, the top wings on either side is all that needs to be colored in a light blue. Next up green. This is going to be the detail on my wings. So the bottom butterfly, the first layer, I'm going to color in the entire wing tip area dark green. This is going to form a shadow effect and then the other colors will layer on top of that and give it more dimension. And since this is the very lowest butterfly on my image, I don't have to be too careful about my coloring in. Next up, this butterfly, we're going to definitely see some of the details. So I'm going to just add a dark shadow in each of the corners of both the top and, top and bottom wings on both sides. As well as a dark sort of detailed line that is there on the stamp image on either side. And this is just going to add to the dimension of the butterfly. Finally, this is my top layer. This one, just some dark detail right at the top of each of those wings on the left and right. Next color, lighter green. On my second butterfly, I'm just going to shadow in and color in that full area right along that dark green line following the stamped image. as well as the lead, the wings on either side of my top layer of my butterfly. Now for some dimensions on my wings. I'm using a lighter blue color and I'm just going to go ahead and add some of these lines and shadings right at the wing base where the wing meets the body of the butterfly. And I'm doing this on my second as well as my third stamped image. Just the top on the third stamped image is all that we're going to need. Remember that light blue that I started off with? I'm going to go over that just to nicely blend in the two blues so it looks a little bit more smooth and blended and not quite so choppy liney-fied, if that's even a term. Almost done. Final step, dark blue. Each of the bodies on all three butterflies need to be colored in dark blue. And then finally on my third one as well. And now my coloring is complete. I'm using my Fun Stampers Journey Detail Pro Shears to cut these out. These are really great for fussy cutting. And since I want to get the details of the butterfly, I'm going to cut out all three the way I colored them. So let's go ahead and stick these down. I've already stamped my sentiment onto my whipped cream cardstock and I'm using Fun Stampers Journey Craft Glue to 
adhere my butterfly to my piece of cardstock. This is the first one we colored in. Remember with the solid dark edges. Okay, before we do the rest, we need to make those little feelers, the little antennas. I'm just taking a regular piece of jewelry wire, really thin gauge, and bending it over and curling in those edges to make those little curly feelers at the end. Those little antennas. And if I use my scissors, I can really get them to bend in easily. And I'm not pressing very hard, obviously I don't want to snip them right off. But just a nice little fold in like that on either side to give it that little butterfly feeler look. Let me just straighten these out and then my little feelers can be added to my butterfly, my first layer, and this is going to add a really fun 3D look to my butterfly as well. So I'm going to pop that on and I'm going to use some journey tape just to stick that there. We're not going to see it because of the next layer, so I'm not too worried about it not being concealed. Right, some foam adhesive squares and my next layer, my butterfly is ready to go right over the first one. And we can already see how three-dimensional that looks. Finally, my top layer. I actually cut those foam squares in half so that I wouldn't see them. And I'm just going to go ahead and stick that right in position over the second layer. So there's my three layered butterfly. Now for some sparkle. Journey glaze is a mixture between a glaze and a resin and it dries really see-through so I'm just going to apply those. It dries clear so I'm just going to apply those to my little wing tips and before it dries I want to add a little sparkle by adding some journey dust. There we go. and let that dry completely. And there's our finished little 3D project, ready to be adhered to our box. I used the treat box die to cut out my box, as well as the colorful cardstock called black and white cardstock. I love the trendy stripe. And that's our project for today. Thanks for joining me.